Hey Capricorn, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot. This is going to be your Oracle and Tarot reading for July 2024. And uh, if you're just joining me for the first time now, I really appreciate you giving it a chance. Uh, this offer extends to everybody. If you'd like for me to pray for you or send you my good juju, please say hi in the comments section or even just a little emoji, something that represents your energy that I can focus on. And uh, I encourage everybody to do that for each other. It's just a really great way to kind of counteract any negative crap we may be going through. So let's get into it. Um, we're going to start with Oracle. We've got the Angels of Abundance deck and we have the Feathers, uh, Divine Feather Messenger deck. We're going to start with those messages and then we're going to build out from there. We're going to go straight to Tarot, get a general view, and then unpack the details. All right. And if you haven't yet, please give the video a like. Thank you so much. It's the best way you can support this channel. I appreciate you. All right, from the Divine Feather deck, what do our Capricorns need to know for July 2024 from Angels Abundance? For our Cappies, oh, well, we got two. You know, it's funny, I think this one flew out, but there's this one there, and we're just gonna take it. We're just gonna take it. We have gratitude and release resentments about money. How particular, that's so particular. Uh, let me know if that resonates. Let's let's uh, unpack this. So gratitude list. Counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you be centered in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind. What and who are you grateful for right now? Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of the universe. And then we have release resentments about money. Yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool you can use to better the world, and this shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities. Good advice. Now we have the messenger of the duck. Find comfort and balance in simple ways. You have support all around you. So this common thread seems to be kind of getting back to what matters, kind of back to the heart of the matter. And um, there's like a 1980s song by like, by some 80s, Heart of the Matter. Who is that? Who sang that? Um, so yeah, getting back to that foundation of... Um, like getting away from tit for tat uh, and just focusing on like the sincerity behind the effort. It's fascinating. Let's see what your cards have to say. Uh, we've pre-shuffled all of these with you in mind so we could save some time. This is one for good measure. For my Capricorns, July 2024, please make it clear. What do they need to know? Are they going towards? Let's just make sure they're upright. Now, if they fly upside down, we read them that way and we only take the cards that fly out on their own because tarot has the floor i'm just the interpreter wow abundance abundance you may be surprised how funny the contrast oh i love this okay so <laughs> we end your reading totally opposite than how we begin it okay we're beginning this is your overview here We've got some conflict. This could even be inner conflict as well as outer conflict. We've got some deception. You know, that can be the wool just being kind of pulled uh, in front of your eyes. And then we've got the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles talks about a sense of uh, scarcity. And so in a side of relationship, that would be um, not being understood, uh, the sense of being pushed out or ostracized, uh, and lonely. And now if this is a money reading that we're going to start unpacking for you, that is literally not having enough money in your bank account. That is literally just feeling broke, right? So we've got this, some difficult energy in the beginning, but then we've got something that comes forward. This is the queen of swords. And this is the energy of like somebody who takes zero crap. So it could be somebody in your life or it could be you that is um, embracing this energy. This is uh, air sign energy. It's very, it's smart, it's clever, it's um, very sharp. And so um, this is a really great energy to fall back on, whether it's you or somebody else, if advice is needed, perspective is needed in a situation. And that's the turning point in your reading because now 
we have abundance, abundance, abundance. Something is growing and it could start out real small. It could be kind of um, underestimated and then get very large. The, the um, you know, just grow and grow. The Empress card is one of the most abundant cards in the deck. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is a stroke of good luck. So things are changing for you. The wheel changes. Nothing stays the same for too long. If you've been going through some hard stuff, and it seems like for a lot of you guys, it's around a sense of having enough, right? If you've been going through a lot of hard stuff lately, don't you worry. Just Nothing stays the same for very long, good or bad. So just stick with it. Let's unpack this. So uh, let's just talk a little bit more about the five of, of wands here. Uh huh. So this is particularly around, okay, this does look like it's around your foundation, your stability. It could even be affecting your home, your bank accounts, your workspace. This is a collaboration in which you guys were really at odds with um, maybe either how it's run or who you were working with. And um, flipping a bit offline, two of pentacles. What's this five of pentacles? Thank you. Oh, man, don't you worry. You just hold tight, you guys. Don't you worry. <laughs> okay, one sec. Please be clear. Thank you for bearing with me. I just want to get more of the storyline out. That's okay. <laughs> That's where it's all happening. Mm -hmm. Empress. What's our Empress? We love fortune. Okay. Wow, cool. So things are going to balance out. The scale is going to be balanced out. If you guys are going through anything legal, any legal difficulties with this, sorry, my nose is itching, so I want to pay attention to that. Okay, this is looking good for you. Things are looking up. Things are looking up. Um, there's a sense of your reading, uh, about your reading, that is like you get to a point where you stop taking anybody's crap. And so you start the reading out in conflict with a collaboration in a collaborative environment. Um, and there is a sense of, um, there's almost a feeling of um, somebody giving you the impression that you're going to be a, um, a lot better off. Either that is like, hey, you're going to get this raise or you're going to make this much at this money or this much money at this job. And then you're like, that's the deception. Like you're like, where is it then? Or this could be around an investment. Um, it could be even around property, but there's a sense of, uh, um, uh, what's the word? I always forget it. I said it just a moment ago. Uh, sneakiness, basically. Something that you didn't see uh, everything. Uh, you didn't see all the details. I think that there was an expense or there was mo it was more of a money drain or there was, um, it's like your money's leaking out. It's like you, uh, you didn't see that. So, and that leads you to this place of scarcity with the five of pentacles. And so you're realizing that the only person who's going to really, you can't rely on um, others to kind of get you out of this. And you're realizing with the emperor energy, I'm, this is just going to keep on going and I'm not going to get any um, recovery here and no relief until I step up and take control. And then you get the boss energy. And then we get the queen of swords. We get the empress card. So your, your luck is changing. And I feel like it's because you're being pushed between a rock and a hard place, basically. Um, but it's the greatest gift because when you step up, it required this extreme for you to step up. And um, it's not that you weren't capable of it before. It's just the circumstance. It's just the circumstance. Anything else we should know about this King of Pentacles? I feel like that's your energy. Victory. I feel like you become the concentrated, undiluted version of yourself, Capricorn. Capricorn's... <laughs> There's a determination and a stubbornness that you guys have. You will climb to the top of that mountain no matter how long it takes you. Like, I just so admire that. Like, the steadfastness, salt of the earth, no flakiness. You are a concentrated version of yourself. And it's like, it's almost this determination that was born out of conflict. Then we have this no BS energy. Now, keep in mind, it could be an air sign or somebody who's just 
much more like they're an intellectual. They're not so on their feelings. They're not that type of person. Um, this could even be like a lawyer for some of you guys. This is either your energy embracing this or it's another person. And it's really just like black and white, looking at things black and white. Okay. The to-do list breakout, um, the, the, the boundaries are drawn. And that's when you start looking out, making new plans, planning for stability. And you want these celebrations. You want these, um, you want to go towards these good times and you want this solid foundation. Definitely has, um, a, a feeling of stable home, uh, attached to it. Uh, and that's when we've got things that start changing. Empress card. What's this Empress card? You have a choice. <laughs> You've got it out of thin air. You're being asked to conceive of something. Conceive. That's why. That's why. Conceive. Magician. Empress. And, and it's, sweethearts, it's in your most hopeless place. And that is a temporary place. I cannot stress that enough. It's just this blip. And it's a bottom. And the, the most uh, beautiful and hard points in life are when we hit our bottoms. And now that could be something as extreme for somebody as how we're used to hearing that term uh, is when addiction comes up in a conversation. But it doesn't have to be addiction. You're like anybody who lives into their old age has hit multiple bottoms in multiple areas in their life. And it's really at that point where you're like, it doesn't get worse than this. Okay. So like, this is the pull yourself up by your bootstraps. This is the grit, you know, but this is, um, and this place is where you conceive of something. It's creative energy. Um, this is where you are very powerfully manifesting. You know, if you've ever seen the movie, oh, it's with Will Smith and it's where he's, um, like super down and out, has a little boy and is like homeless and he starts getting into the stock market and like it's rags to riches story. Every rags to riches story is this. It's like getting that point of like, oh, hell no, this is, I'm not staying down here. And that's when there's this alchemy. It's like this combustion of creativity and manifestation and solutions fall into place. They just fall into your lab. It's the universe. You're now collaborating. And I, I wish there was better, there was more terminology besides hitting one's bottom. I wish there was more of a description or a wor more words to describe it because it's like kind of a fantastical place. It's the moment where the match strikes the, um, uh, you know, the side of the matchbox strikes the friction. It's the moment of friction where a spark is created. This is friction, sweethearts. This is friction and friction doesn't feel good. It's not a massage, you know, but it's necessary and strike. Now there's a flame. And now we have the wheel of fortune. Your wheel, your luck is turning and you are karmically exactly where you're supposed to be. We have the justice card bringing balance and a fairness and equality to the situation. Again, another major karma, karma card. Okay. And then we've got judgment. This is big wake up call. This is big wake up call. It's one of the biggest cards in the deck. This and the tower. I mean, these are like those, those earth shattering moments in life, you know, but it's in the best way. And then we have leaving something, leaving something behind that you at one point really cared about. You were really concerned about it. Now this could be an old worry, an old um, nagging fear, or it could be a person or a place. All of you guys are going through different things. The energy though reads the same. So if it's resonating, take care to leave it, right? This is all just to help you. So if it, if it helps you, Consider what, what is it that would change my life completely if I left it? If I left it behind and I took a risk and I went for those greener pastures, right? Follow my intuition. I love it so much for you guys. All right. Um, I'm going to do an extended for sure. We're going to ask what is next? Like now what, right? We're going to ask for advice and what is next? We're going to jump into the runes, which is this ancient Nordic, uh, these symbols 
here they actually predate tarot and we're going to probably jump into oracle a little bit more as well as tarot so you're welcome to join me there it's about the price of a cup of coffee and the link is below in that description box if this is where i leave you i adore you all and i'll talk to you soon bye bye Mwah.